Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can send JSON data to a SharePoint list. I already recorded a video how we can send JSON data to an Excel file. Based on uh, viewers input, they also wanted to see a video how we can move, you know, JSON data to a SharePoint list. So let's start it. To understand the use case, I have an employee list and uh, based on the status of work status, I want to move uh, to another list, inactive uh, employees in my organization. So I, I want to move those employees to this list. So how we can achieve this? Let me demonstrate. Click on create. First, we are going to retrieve data from this list. I'm using send an HTTP request to SharePoint, provide the site address. Yes, we are going to use this. So API app list. Title and the display name of your list. So let me copy it from here. And items. Okay. Now let's quickly test it. Our flow ran successfully, and if I navigate to the output, this is the JSON data. Let me format it using Visual Studio. This is the JSON data. Uh, we have formatted data so that we can understand it. Now we want to move this data to a SharePoint list. Now the next step is to filter out all the inactive employees. Search for filter array. In from part, it is looking for the array of object. If I select this body, this body is just providing the raw JSON object. Let me go back to my JSON array object. This is the entire JSON array object. What exactly filter array action is looking for is the results, uh, which is the array of objects. So we need to pass this. To do this, we cannot use the body. Navigate to expression and write this expression. Click on OK. Now we have the correct uh, required object. From this object, what I want, I want to filter based on the based on the work status. Okay. And work status is equal to inactive. Let me test it quickly. So these are the employees with inactive status. Now, now the next step is to iterate item one by one. To do that, click on apply to each and the input for apply to each will be 
previous output search for create item action we use create item action to create a new item in a sharepoint list provide the required details like site address and the list name so for title title is the mandatory field uh, we don't have anything so just pass blank in employee name we need to pass the name of employee similarly for the department go back here item from item department so we have provided the information now let me test it our flow run successfully let me navigate to the inactive list so here are the employees with status inactive so this is how you can extract data from a json object and move that json data to a sharepoint list also demonstrate how you can move data between uh, two different lists thank you for watching please like and subscribe the channel if the video was useful feel free to comment below or reach out directly by using the mail id for any business case or if you want a custom solution